Let's bring you the latest on the Russian-Ukraine war. Chinese President Xi Jinping has had a conversation with Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky over the telephone for the first time since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. President Zelensky immediately signaled the importance of the chance to open closer relations with Russia's most powerful friend, naming a former cabinet minister as Ukraine's new ambassador to Beijing. Reports say President Xi told President Zelensky that China would send special representatives to Ukraine and hold talks with all parties seeking peace. Meanwhile, fresh strike has rocked southern Ukraine as fighting rages in, in besieged Bakhmut. This is more, uh, there is more in the following reports. One person was killed and 23 people, including a child, were wounded in a Russian missile strike on an apartment block and houses in the southern Ukrainian city of Mykolaiv in the early hours of Thursday. Officials say Russia bombarded Mykolaiv with four caliber missiles launched from the Black Sea. The high-precision weapons were aimed at private houses, a historic building, and a high-rise building. Kiev regional governor Vitaly King said emergency services put out several fires caused by the missile debris. Meanwhile, a fire department in Kharkiv suffered damage following Russian shelling on April 26. Equipment were also damaged, with no injuries to personnel. Reacting to the phone conversation between Chinese President Xi Jinping and Ukraine's Vladimir Zelensky, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said he welcomed the call. But the discussion did not change the fact that China had still not condemned Russia for invading Ukraine, he said. This comes after President Xi spoke to President Zelensky for the first time since the war, fulfilling a long-standing goal of Kyiv, which had publicly sought such talks for months.